Okay guys, that brings me very nicely to number two, which is the outcome of each individual trade is random. What, what do you mean the outcome of each individual trade is random? What I mean is that you don't know what is gonna happen with each trade. There are so many variables out there that you can never know that that trade is gonna be a winner. Now, okay, there are some exceptions to this. I appreciate that there are trades out there that are arbitrage trades. There are trades out there that have a very, very high probability, but ultimately, unless they're 100% certain, the outcome of that is still random. I don't mean 50-50 by random. I mean, you don't know whether it's gonna be a winner or a loser. It might have a high probability of working. However, you don't know if it's gonna work or not. If it's a 95% probability trade, whatever that may be, out of 100 times, you're still gonna get five losers and you don't know when those five losers are gonna occur. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail because this actually, it sounds like it's, it's more of a strategy thing, but when you can work out in your head and, and kind of be comfortable and at peace, if you like, with the fact that this is really the reality of trading, you can start to, you know, accept the risk much more it brings in very, very nicely to this point you start to be able to analyze things a lot more clearly and it just it just literally opens the door to to a different style of trading so bear with me on this one let me talk to you about an analogy that you may have heard of the casino analogy now a casino operates a series of games they provide a nice environment or supposedly a nice environment uh, for people to enjoy playing games and gambling and let's look at the roulette wheel. How does the roulette wheel, how do these guys make money? So the roulette wheel basically works like this. You have a zero here, which is green, and then you have a sequence of numbers in a wheel. You're familiar with this. Now, I don't know the exact order because I'm not uh, that familiar with the game as such, but you kind of have, you know, you've got a, a, red, a red one, a black two, um, I know it's not exactly this, a, a, you know, red three and then a black four. So, but in other words, they're not exactly like that. And the wheel goes around um, like this, as you know, I know they're not, they're 15, something, something. I don't know exactly the order. But anyway, the point is you have red, black, 50, 50, uh, give or take. That's the payout you get. You double your money if you put it on red and it comes up red. You double your money if you put it on black. And there's odds and evens and other things. But let's just focus on the red or black for now. Now. That's all very well and good, but this little baby here, this zero is what's called the house edge. Now, what does that mean? It basically means that even though you get a 50-50 payout for red or black, the odds of it turning up uh, red or black aren't actually 50-50 because you have this zero, and in some cases you have another double zero there as well. So that's the casino's edge. The casino is giving you uh, a payout that is not really, um, doesn't represent the actual odds of the game. So they know, they do not know, let's go back to this point here, the outcome of trade is random. When the, the punter spins the wheel, they don't know whether it's gonna come up red, black or green, they don't know. The wheel spins, it doesn't matter what happens. But they know that over time, the wheel will is designed to give them an edge. It will show up over, you know, however, however many numbers there are on the roulette wheel, I don't know off the top of my head, but they know that that zero gives them an edge so that the more frequency that people play, the bigger, bigger payout they get. Now, if someone comes along and sticks a billion quid on red or black, they're gonna freak out because that could really damage them. That's why they have table limits. They stop people from doing too much size on the table and any, any size that comes in has to be manually uh, verified by the dealer or the pit boss or whatever. That's exactly why, because they want frequency. If you go in with a grand in a, to a casino, they would much rather you enjoy yourself and put in a thousand one pound bets than come in and just stick a grand on and walk away. That's your most, that's your chances, the best chance you've got of winning, by the way, is just to do that because it negates this edge far less. But if you're doing multiple, multiple, multiple frequencies, eventually you will lose money because this edge will play out. The fact that you're getting 50-50 payout on red or black the fact that it's not quite 50-50, it's 49.8 something, I don't know the exact number, but you get the point. Each trade is random. So for a casino's perspective, they know they have a strategy that works. They know that they have something that if they do enough times, they will make money. Multiply that over all the different wheels they've got, all the different games they've got, and all of a sudden you've got a business uh, that makes money.